Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is crochet podcast number 54. So I'm pretty excited because I do have some finished objects to show you guys. I've been excited about the things I've been working on and I think you can really tell that I was excited about it because I was just like blowing through all of this stuff. So yeah, but first I just want to note that my uterus back here is still hanging out with us because it's still September which is Uterine Cancer Awareness Month. So I just want to bring awareness to that. So if you have the girly bits, please go and have those checked out. You should do it yearly. Um, so yeah, I am a survivor of uterine cancer and I believe I told this story once before and if I can find the video, I will put a link for it down below. If anybody is interested in hearing my um, cancer story or journey or whatever. Okay, so let's just move on into finished objects. So I have been so excited since I made that ghost from the last podcast. So excited that I made another one. Look how cute it is. This one's a little tall. I think I got carried away and went too many rows on like the in not the increase but you know where you just work up but i still think he is so 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 cute so let me grab a notebook here so i can remember everything so he is um the happy ghost and he is part of a um paid for halloween let's see halloween bunch amigurumi patterns on etsy and the designer is pixie marie creates also known as michelle estrada so in the Halloween bunch, you get the happy ghost, you get a cauldron, you get a pumpkin, you get a candy corn, and a black cat. I believe those were the ones. So the only thing that I did differently is he has arms in her pattern and I just left the arms off. So I did use, um, it's a Hobby Lobby yarn, it's a yarn bait and it's called Adora Ball. It's like um, a chenille yarn, it's very like fluffy. Um, and it is in the colorway Angel, and I used a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is a size eye hook. Now these eyes I made on my Cricut machine. So here are the first set of eyes that I made, which would, let's turn them around here. So they would be like this. Um, and I thought that they were cute, but um, I was trying to emulate the eyes that Michelle uses in her amigurumi. She calls them, um, I think, kawaii eyes is what it is. Um, my dog is sneezing over there if you can hear him. Hope you don't fall off the bed. He fell off the bed this morning. He's, he can't see anymore, but um, she has um, the kawaii eyes on hers. And she used to sell them in her Etsy shop, and I went to um, go and look and see if I could buy some, but I couldn't find any in her shop. And then um, they were really expensive on Etsy, and I already had a Cricut Joy, so I kind of looked up to see how to make them, and I did that, and then I kind of just like designed my own little eye pattern. So I will put a link to this down below if you have Cricut Design Space. Um, I did make it public and I'll put a link to it down below or if you know anybody who has a Cricut and can pop you out some eyes if you want any, um, it'll be down below. So here is um, Happy Ghost number one because yes, I made two of them. So here is the second one. He is a little bit shorter. I'm using the same yarn, the same eyes and there is one difference and you can't um, tell it on camera. Well, you kind of, like there is a little bit of sparkle to him. I held um, Aunt, Liddy's, Aunt Lydia's crochet thread, the number 10, it's metallic, it's white and silver. Um, I held it along with this. So every so often you kind of see like a hint of glitter I would have been better off to hold like a, um, like a, one of those like 
threads, like like a glittery thread or whatever. But I didn't have that, so it's like every now it's just very subtle. So here is him, and here is them side by side. As you can tell, one is a little bit taller than the other. This one is shorter than even her pattern because I was running out of the yarn and I didn't have any more. And um, yeah, now I didn't want to have to go buy any. So I did have some Hobie, um, their plushy yarn, and I probably used about this much of it because I got all the way to the last row where I was closing up and I needed just a little bit more. So I attached just a little bit of strand and done some sewing in and stuff. So those are my two happy ghosts from the Halloween Amigurumi, um, Halloween bunch Amigurumi pattern. So there is the ghosts. So the next thing that I made is a free pattern and it's a free pattern on Grace and Yarn on her blog and it is this candy corn this cute little candy corn look how cute it is so uh, michelle does have a candy corn pattern but i wanted more of a, a pointed top and hers is more of a domed top so i just went kind of looking around and i found this one on grace and yarn and it was free so i went ahead and made this one and I did use a Bernat Blanket yarn on this. And this is just Bernat Blanket White. This is Carrot Orange. And this is School Bus Yellow. Now I believe the Carrot Orange and the School Bus Yellow are Bernat Brights. So this is just the regular Bernat Blanket yarn and these are Bernat Brights. So yeah, I got them at Joann's. So I used a six millimeter or a J hook on him. Um, he is crocheted a pretty tight, pretty tight. And you can see up the side is where you do the color changes. You can see them there, but it's not so obvious like that. So I did use my kawaii eyes, gave him a little smile. He's so cute. Do you hear the train? And then the last finished object I have is another free pattern, and it is the Frankenstein Crochet Monster Pillow, and it is by Sagoni Macaroni, and it's free on her website, on her blog, and here he is. Now, I have made him once before a long time ago, back when um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, when they were having the big birthday celebration when it turned one, 200, I made one of these pillows, but I don't think I had put his bolts on. So I may have to make some bolts for mine this year. But I did use Bernat blanket yarn for this. I used black, white, and this is called Lemon Lime. And this one is a Bernat baby blanket yarn. And I believe these two are just Bernat blanket yarn. For the bolts, I used, it's a, just a four weight. It's Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in gray beard. So for the pillow, and it's made with a front panel and a back panel, and then four of these side panels. So for that, I used a 5.5 millimeter and I hook and these stitches are like super super tight like I should have went up a crochet hook size because it hurt my hand so bad to um, crochet this pillow but it was going it's going to my nephew so that's why I done it is because I know that kids are and he's like the youngest my youngest nephew he just turned five and I know kids are like a rougher on thing. So I wanted them to be like really, really, really tight. So that's what I did. Um, and then for the bolts, I used a 4.5, which is a US 7 hook. I think that's what it said. Let's see. Yeah, a 7. So, yeah. So um, there's not a whole lot of sewing. You sew the, the four little triangles on. You sew the pupils to the eyes and then sew them on. 
and then you sew these on. And this is crocheted, the panels are crocheted around. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would have, instead of crocheting the four panel corners together, I wish I would have just um, whip stitched those together the next time, and there will be a next time that I make this pillow, that's what I'm gonna do. And then you just, um, I just ran a piece of yarn and then just put stitches over top of it for his stitch work. And I've done all of that, except for these two things. I sewed everything on the panel before I even attached everything else, just to make the sewing a lot easier. And then you just sew on these two little bolts, bolts, not bulbs. And then he's all done. I do want to make another one of these. Um, this year for Halloween, um, I want to gift it to someone else, um, but I'm going to go up in hook size and I'm going to try to do these a little bit different. I think if I go up in hook size, the kind of stuffed it and it's wonky. See how it like dips in and stuff. I just don't think I have my stitches right and I did probably overstuff him but I liked how it gave his face dimension, so I just kept stuffing until I liked it. So, and um, it's a free pattern. I can't remember if I said that. So that is all of my finished objects. So I have one more object to make, or amigurumi, to make for my Halloween buckets for my nieces and nephews. Um, I already gave the first plushie ghost went to Danette's grandson, Zachary. Um, this um, plushie ghost will go to one of my nieces. This plushie candy corn will go to a nephew. And this right here will go to a nephew. I'm not going to say who gets what because sometimes my niece watches. So, she won't know which one she gets. This plushie ghost is going to go to my aunt. And I started uh, my um, last project for the Halloween buckets. And it'll go to one of my nieces. And it is also from the Halloween Bunch Amigurumi Crochet Patterns that I bought off of Etsy from Pixie Marie Creates. And it is the pumpkin. And here is what I've got so far. So I'm using a um, Bernat blanket yarn again. This is just the regular Bernat blanket yarn in pumpkin spice. And this is where I'm at so far. So this is what I've got left of the skein. This originally, um, I made a, it was a, what is that? Like a Snuggie sack for my um, nephew, the one that came and stayed with me. So I turned it into, um, a pumpkin pie but I used the pattern from yarnspirations.com the pizza snuggy snack I used it just changed the colors and added like a whipped cream swirl on top but this is what I had left from his uh, pumpkin pie um, snuggy and I thought I'll just go ahead and use it then I realized oh, I'm probably gonna run out so I did get me another uh, ball of it at Joann's and I am using an eight millimeter or L hook. I'm using one of my clover armoires. And I'm at the part where I'm just um, crocheting up. I just keep going up. He's gonna be pretty big, I think, from using the big yarn and the big hook. So that is what I have been working on. Now, like I said, I want to finish this pumpkin. I want to make another um, Frankenstein pillow. I want to make um, the amigurumi, uh, not amigurumi, but the candy corn pillow that Jaden Stitches has, but use Bernat blanket yarn for it. Um, I just have all of these like things I want. I'm really into this fluffy yarn right now. I don't know. Why? When I made that ghost out of that um, chenille yarn, I just kind of was like, ah, I want to work with some big fat yarn right now. So that's what I've been doing. And that's what is upcoming, I guess. I do want to make the two pillows because I want to give those to other people as well. And yeah. But I do have some show and tell to share with you guys. 
So Delon has been um, a busy bee and she's been making some stuff. And I thought I would share it with you guys um, today. So the first um, two things are some washcloths. She has this um, blue and white washcloth and um, this like flower washcloth, this yellow and white flower washcloth. And washcloths are always so handy to have. I mean, you can use them for like your dishes or your body or they're a great gift to give away because people just love these things. So the next two things are some pocket shawls. So she has um, this pocket shawl in like a um, pinkish color and the pocket shawl in the burgundy-ish color. And she said that these were a pattern by Crystal at Bago Day. And they are so gorgeous. I just love them. I've always wanted to make a pocket shawl, but you know how I am with big projects. I just never finish them like that shawl that is sitting over there on my new whip wall that I've created. Um, and it's hanging over there. So I still have to finish that. And we're coming up on the second winter that Danette could use that. And then the last thing that she has is this multicolored blanket. Now, I think that she may have used like a striping yarn. I'm not sure, Delon, you'll have to let us know. But I think it's a, a striping yarn. It's very pretty. And she said that this was also a pattern from Crystal at Bag o Day. So, yeah, it's very pretty. So, thank you so much, Delon, for sharing your makes with us. They are gorgeous as always. Delon makes the most beautiful stuff. I just love it when she shares her uh, pictures with us because I love seeing what she's working on. And if you guys want to share what you're working on with me or with everyone else, feel free to email me. My email is always listed down in the comment, not the comment, but the description box down below. You can email me um, pictures of what you're working on and I'm going to share them on the podcast unless you tell me, hey, I don't want to share it and then I won't share it. So yeah. So thank you, Dawn. Okay, so let me take a sip of water. So the next thing I want to do is I want to thank Crystal at Chronically Crocheting because she gave me a shout out for my Facebook group. Thank you, Crystal. That was so sweet and so unexpected, but I was like so close to hitting 100 members on there uh, on the Facebook group the last time that I had a podcast and I mentioned that and Crystal put a shout out to um, all of her friends and I got like a lot of people come over so I have um, been a little bit more active over on Facebook and I'm going to try to continuously be active over there um, yeah, I've had a lot of fun and people's went back and like commented and it's been, it's been a lot of fun for me. So yeah, so thank you. And if anybody out there wants to join uh, my Facebook group, um, I have it down below the link and it's a great way to um, share pictures with me. If you don't want to email me and you can say, Hey, you know, you can share this in your podcast. I know Arlis or Arlis um, does that from time to time. So yeah, so yeah, come and join us. We'll be happy to have you. So yeah, so thank you, Crystal. That was um, so sweet. And I do, I've been meaning to, I found like a little um, candy corn. Oh, gosh, it's a candy corn. I don't know why I want to keep saying candy cane. A candy corn keychain pattern that I want to make. Um, to be able to send to Crystal. I have to see when the cutoff date for that is. Oh, I'm gonna have to plan so much better. Crystal, if you do the Yarn Fairy again next year, I am gonna start working on things to send you for next year because I think that is such a cool idea what you've got going on. That is just like the neatest thing ever. Yeah, I can't wait to see like, you know, like your reaction to um, doing it and everything like that. Okay, so let's move on to the known pattern giveaway for September. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, to stop this video and like start again so that it'll be like a clip. 
so it would be like way easier for me to edit like I was trying to think of ways to make the editing process easier and because I insert the little thing where it like twitches about and stuff it is e it will be easier for me to do it in a separate clip so that's what I am going to do if you guys don't mind you'll just kind of see that little thing where it's like I moved you know whatever but I have the thing here and some some news so I was um, looking for all of my links like I like to get all of my links and stuff ready and I found and I'm so excited but the yarn's not gonna match because I'd switched the yarn colors but I found way back in the day when I remember I told you guys way back in the day I had went through and found all of the known patterns I wanted to do and got all of the yarn ready and then all of that happened with uh, Russia and their nonsense and the some of my pattern people went away well, one for October for September and October the um, the crochet designer that I had picked for those two months she never came back to Etsy now I had to go back and find other patterns to replace that and unfortunately the patterns that I picked were from Pam Pino Gnome who is now gone from Etsy too she's over on Ravelry but as I was looking because I was going to find all of the witch gnome patterns I could find some people don't like Ravelry and I wanted them to have like options of Etsy as well I found the original person her name used to be Plyushki Toys Patterns, but it's called Crochet Pictures now. And I'll put a link to it down below. You can see how um, super cute it is, but it's an option now. So yeah, long story there. Okay, I'm gonna stop you guys and we're gonna start again. Okay, so I'm back. So we are going to go and we are going to bring up the YouTube plays the picker the comment picker so we are going to filter duplicate users pull up my glasses for this bit include replies to comments filter based on a specific text which was September we are going to guess four plus one is five and then we've got 34 comments okay are you guys ready to start let me put my glasses back down for this one let's hit start let's see who wins harley castle she has to say cute gnome september is the start of my favorite season love the colors of fall the ghost is adorable thanks for the chance to win now, I know that um, she really likes to make gnomes, so, yes. Yay, congratulations, Harley Castle, congratulations. Okay, so, all you need to do is email me down below um, your address, and I will get this little bundle sent right out to you. Also... Let me know how you're wanting your $10. Do you want me to just throw $10 down in the bag? Do you want me to PayPal you? Just let me know. Um, I can also like buy the pattern like through Ravelry if that's how you're wanting to do it. But I think you get more buying for your buck with the 10 bucks myself. So, okay. Congratulations, Harley Castle. Let me stop this recording here use my old iPhone for that so yes okay um I think that that's it for tonight guys um or today um I am recording this the night before <laughs> so that I have more time to edit it that's the only reason um because it seems like it takes me forever to edit I don't know why. I mean, of the simplest little things. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to get off of here and probably work a little bit more on
on my pumpkin. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I want to thank everybody for um, uh, coming over to my YouTube channel um, and hanging out with me and leaving comments. I really love reading everybody's comments. Um, so yeah, I, I love replying to them. So keep those comments coming because I love them. Um, yeah. So I will um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.